Hi guys, and welcome back. Um, I wanted to do another uh, screen comparison to try to um, flush out some questions about the overall quality of the Y50 uh, display. So, <clears throat> um, a YouTube user, Brian, um, who left a couple of comments on my other monitor comparison video, um, had asked for a uh, calibration test. And um, I'm just assuming that he was referring to the uh, built-in Windows calibration test. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, and for those of you that have Windows 8 um, or 8.1, I believe it's the same in both, um, that have never seen the uh, built-in monitor calibration test, probably the easiest and simplest way to get to it is uh, just do a search. So if you hold down your Windows key and the S key, that pulls up the search bar. <clears throat> and if you just type in calibrate, um, you'll see up here where it says calibrate display color. So if we click that, then that opens up another screen that leads you through a series of options. And um, you can tune in and adjust different things on the display. So let's go ahead and do that. So down here on the bottom, we'll hit next. Uh, some words on there that say some things. And um, here's where you begin to adjust your gamma. Um, so if we hit next, it just, these screens are just kind of explaining what to look for and how to do it. So over here on the left is a slide bar that um, you can adjust the gamma to try to, I don't know, make things look better. So I'll just do that as a demonstration here. And I mean, you can see that that kind of is just way too washed out down here it gets quite a bit darker um, sort of looks like it's adjusting alpha channels um, but anyway I'm gonna reset that to where it was um, and hit next to the next thing so this just says um, to adjust your brightness and contrast um, the one thing I do have on here is the backlight brightness um, but there's really no physical brightness or contrast adjustments, at least that I'm aware of. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. Um, and then here's another screen that talks about color balance. So that will probably be the next thing when we hit next. Um, and this screen was kind of interesting to me. So what I'll do is I'll probably leave everything where it's at in the end, but I'll adjust each slider a little bit back and forth um, so you can kind of get a good idea of how you would be able to calibrate the color on your Y50 monitor. So starting with the reds, that's basically taking out the reds, if you slide it there. Take out the greens, and you can kind of see the blue tint now, hopefully through the camera. Again, I don't have the greatest camera in the world, but hopefully some of this will come through. And if we take out the blues, you're more or less at a black and white screen. So if we put the reds back in, here's some of the pinks that uh, Brian was referring to earlier. And then um, you know, if we add, let's actually let's take one out at a time. We'll add the green back in. Take that out. Add the blue back in, add the green back in, and add the red back in. Now I've done this color um, calibration or monitor calibration a couple of different times. Um, although some of you out there may have different results if you try this on your Y50 monitor, 
Um, but personally, I, I don't know that I mind it. Um, and what I, I guess what I mean by that is, you know, it's not as vivid as the W250 that I, or I'm sorry, the W520 that I have. Um, but I'm going to do a side by side of those after we go through this calibration on the Y50. So now if we hit next again, um, you can do a uh, comparison between what you had and what you just adjusted to, and you can basically test those against each other and determine which one you like. Um, so that's it for the uh, calibration process. Um, so let's go ahead and click finish. And then um, it gives you an option to turn on clear type, which I believe is enabled by default. Um, so I don't know, maybe even disabling that would help with the font display. Um, ask you a bunch of uh, text questions on which looks the best to you. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then uh, we're going to switch over to a different angle uh, so that we can compare the uh, W520 and the Y50 um, right next to each other. And I'll do some uh, backlight um, adjustments and uh, I can at least give you some of my personal opinions of pros and cons of each. Um, so let me get that set up and we'll be right back. Okay, so with this uh, angle here, I wanted to try to make sure that we kind of kept the same um, backgrounds on each computer or laptop just for now so that you can kind of see the color comparison between the two. Um, well, I guess I should say that the Y50 monitor is on the left and the Lenovo W520, my work laptop, its monitor is on the right. Um, so I don't, again, I don't know how clearly this is going to show up via the camera that I'm using and or the YouTube compression. Um, but I don't know from this angle if you'll be able to tell just how much more bright and vivid that W520 is. So I do have some lights on um, above the laptops right now. Um, but with the lights on, I'd like to at least do a brightness adjustment on each. And I will also do that again with the lights above us turned off. And depending on how my camera picks that up, um, maybe I'll leave it in the video or strip it back out, but um, we could try it. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'll adjust each of the backlights one at a time, starting with the, uh, with the Y50. So I'll go down one step. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just go as dim as we can get with it on the black light. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is going to come up completely black um, on the camera or on the video. Um, but if you were sitting in my spot, you could tell that that Y50 screen um, is still visible. It's just um, super, super dim. So I'll do the same thing now on the W520, which is on the right. Okay, so that is as dim as that thing goes, um, at least that I know how to do it. Um, so you can hopefully get a picture between the two of what's going on there. So now I will turn the brightness back um, all the way up on each one, starting with the W520. And I'll turn the brightness back up on the Y50.
Okay, um, let me just switch off my overhead lights and maybe we'll do that process one more time. Okay, so I'm in a room that's essentially completely dark now, other than the light that's coming out of the laptops. So I will go ahead and um, this time I'll dim the W520 first. And then I will dim down the Y50. Okay, so hopefully without the lights on. Um, oh shoot, we had a background switch. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> hopefully with the lights turned off, you'll be able to see just how dim that Y50 can get. Um, which in my case is somewhat of a benefit because I do, again, a lot of work at night in dark rooms, other people are sleeping, that kind of stuff. Um, so for me, using my work laptop on the right, even at its dimmest setting, which you see right now, it was still kind of too bright for me. Um, on the left-hand side, the Y50, that thing gets so dim that you can barely see it. Um, so typically, um, if I can... Put this back up a couple. You know, if, if I had to make a guess, we're about three or four um, clicks up from the dimmest settings on the Y50, and that it is about nearly half way up on the brightness scale, and it's still not even as bright or as vivid as the W520 on the right. Um, a lot of people, I'm sure, view this as a complete problem. And I won't argue that. Um, I really wish that Y50 display was as bright and as vivid as the W520. And I am absolutely no electronics or tech uh, guru is when it comes to hardware. So I don't know what is in either of these screens. Um, but... Yes, I will have to agree with the general comments and reviews that I've seen on the Y50 that its monitor is, I don't know, it's kind of flat, if that makes any sense. Um, it's certainly not vivid. So let's go ahead and brighten both of these back up. So that's the Y50 at its brightest um, compared to the W520 that is still at its lowest. So let's kick this W520 back up, and hopefully the camera will pick this up well. Okay, so let me just see if I can get to the same background again. Um, you know, just looking at my camera, the colors look completely different. Um, so maybe... Before I end this video, I'll flip through some of these default backgrounds on each here, and maybe that will help a little bit too. Um, and these are both um, at their highest brightness. So I think I'll call it quits there and hopefully this is uh, helpful to some of you out there that are, you know, trying to figure out what in the heck is going on with this Y50 monitor. Um, but in the end, I still think it looks very good and um, just the power that it punches, <laughs> punches um, I don't know, I, I, I can maybe put up with a little bit of its non-vivid screen. Um, so until next time, thanks guys for watching. Leave a like and uh, certainly comments and we'll see you next time.